Let's take a look at how you can add the date and time into your map on a print layout in QGIS so that it will always show the current date and also the time if you want to. I've got a map here on a print layout and if I zoom in a little bit to where I have the date, we see that it shows the current time. Now you can always type that text, but if I open this project after updating the map two weeks from now, I don't want it to say today's date. I want it to say the current date and maybe also the time. And you can do that with a little bit of dynamic text in QGIS. So let me select the text object here. And on the right, we'll see its properties. I'm just gonna highlight that text and then I'll click the insert edit expression button. But before that, I can actually add dates with a bit of dynamic text like this, but to have more control over the format, we can do it the way that I'm going to show you. So I'll highlight this text, I'll click on insert edit expression, and then we see what we've got. So let's strip this back to the basics. If I delete what's there, and I only have now with an open and close bracket afterwards and click OK, what we get is the date and time, but it's not formatted very nicely, it's very technical. We have the year, the month, then the day, and then we have the time in the 24 hour clock, and it's even gonna show seconds with decimal places. So if I refresh that, you can see it's updating the time down to the nearest three decimal places of a second. So we don't want that, it's too technical, so I'll highlight this again and click insert or edit expression. The reason I highlight that is because if I just click on insert edit expression, nothing appears here. Just a weird quirk. So I'll highlight it, I'll click insert or edit expression. And now we're gonna use the format date tool or format date, date function. I'll type in here, format date, format underscore date. And we see it in the date and time section. So I'll put the cursor before now doesn't matter how many spaces we have and I'll double click it. And the really important thing here is just to look at the information on the right. It can be a bit confusing, but if you scroll to the bottom, you'll see some examples. So let's take a look. After what it says now, and that's the function that pulls in the current date and time from your computer, I'll put in a comma. And in date time, what I need to do is I can look at the examples at the bottom. So, here for example if I do a single quote and do dd.mm.yyyy and a single quote and close the bracket we see a preview and that will show us what's going to appear so let me click on OK so now our date is formatted 7-11-2024 but there's dots in between it and not everybody wants that format but that's fine so let's go back to the properties, highlight the text, click insert or edit expression. So you don't need to put a dot between them. You don't need to put anything between them. It'll still work, but you can put a dash. But most people might want to have a space. So I've put a space between them. But let's go back to the middle search box and type in format date and then select it so that we can see the options. Now, if you look closely on the right, if I want the day as a number, I can just put D. If I want it with a number that's got a leading zero, so 07 instead of seven, I can do two Ds. So on the right hand side, it explains all the different options. So let's put four small Ds. That's gonna tell us what day it is. And 11 is the month so that's not exactly what we want here we want the day so we want Thursday I'll put in D for the day then I'll put the month in but this time I'm going to put in M M M M and capital letters so now my date says Thursday 7th November 2024 I think I'll put a comma after November and that's fine. But after the last one, let's say I want this to be in French, the way you would uh, write the month in French, because not everybody 
we'll be doing it in English. So I could put a comma and if you scroll down on the right hand side, the information when you're in format date and you click on the link, it'll show you the different ISO codes you can use to define the language so that the month, I type in FR in single quotes, the day and the month will be in French now. If I was to use the code, two letter code for Albania, SQ, now it's in Albanian. And I could do this for pretty much any language. I'll try Kashmiri, which is KS, and then it's formatted in the local language there. And I'll, the last one I'll do is ES. So it's in Spanish and I could just do EN and it'll go back to English, but the default will be whatever your system is on. So Thursday, 7th of November, 2024, and I'll click OK. And you can see the dates formatted like that. So if I save this project and then open it up two weeks from now, it will tell me the current date. Now, when you're doing maps and you're really interested in different versions and you want to know when the map was created, this is useful. Sometimes you'll also want the time though. So let's go back to the main properties here. Highlight the text, click insert or edit expression. And I'll type in format underscore number again in the middle. And if I scroll format date, sorry, format date and select it. If you scroll down, you'll see that you could also add in hours. So let's add in before the last single quote, let's add in H for the hour. But if we want to lead in zero, we can do two H's. So let's do that. That's going to give me the hour. And usually in a in a time, I'll put in a colon. So 15, and then I'll put in HH, and then I'll put in another colon, and I'll put in two small S's. And the reason I've done that, this, the two small H's, that gives the hour with a leading zero in 24 hour clock format. The HH in capitals, that's going to give the hour and the two S's, oops, the two S's are the second with a leading zero. If you want to change it to not the 24 hour clock, for example, uh, very commonly done in the United States, for example, we should be able to add that in. If I put an AP, there we go. So we've got PM or AM. Uh, if I take away the first H, it will go to, as you can see this in the preview, by the way, Thursday, 7th of November, 2024. So let's try and format this like an American date and time. So you would usually say, instead of 7th of November, you might say November 7th. So all I need to do is just take that four M's and put it before the date. So it's Thursday, November 7, 2024. Let's put another comma in. And it's 3.15 p.m. and 26 seconds. But let's get rid of the seconds for now. Okay. So if I click OK, we can see the format. And on the right-hand side, we can see that's going to update. Let me just add in manually here the two S's for the seconds. So we can see the time now is Thursday. Well, the time and date, Thursday, November 7th, 2024, 3.15 and 45 seconds. If I hit refresh, it's 56 seconds, 58 seconds. So it's always gonna update. The last thing, if I put the AP there, I can do it without a space, but we really want a space. So that's just a more extended look at date formats in QGS. It can be confusing, but if you just go on the right-hand side, highlight the text, click insert edit expression, and then from the middle search box, type in format date, and then just take a close look at this. So remember the actual date is coming, well, the date and time is coming from this now expression, and then we're just formatting it in a way that makes sense to how we write dates in our individual countries and uses. So hopefully that's useful for you. You don't need to update this text because it will update dynamically every time you open the project and save a print layout. It'll have the current date and time in it if you follow this example.